Hey young composers, this video is to help you get logged in to NoteFly and then to be able to find the groups, um, specifically the Cloud Composers group, and then also um, to be able to interact and share scores with your peers and to find scores that I've shared with you. So from the Cloud School Bag, you can just go to where it says Music, click that, and then at the very bottom it says Young Composers Club. Go ahead and click that site. And this is where you've been to complete the exit survey. Um, if you look on the home screen, which this is the home screen, scroll down and it says click here to start yours. And you click Clow Note Flight Site. Okay, then you have to log in. So I'm just going to use somebody as an example. Um, let's see here. Um, let me log in using. Um, um, uh, somebody from last year. Your password again, just remember. I won't say it on this video just so you don't forget, but hopefully everybody remembers what your password is. It has to do with the school mascot. Click login. Okay, I'm not going to save that. All right, so then this is my home screen. These are all the scores that I've created, right? Um, I can see other scores on this home screen. Um, all the data from how many views I've gotten. Any scores that I've shared with the public. Um, any scores that people have shared with me. Scores that I've chosen to be my favorite. Okay. Uh, this is activity that I've done or activity that, uh, that people have done if they've commented on my um, on my music. I can see that under your news. So that's kind of nice. It can take you to see those things really quickly. Okay. Uh, and uh, any messages. So at the top here, I would go to groups to find the cloud group. Okay. So it shows this cloud uh, site, which has 96 members. But in that site, I'm a part of this group called the Young Composers Club. See, that's under the Your Classes and Groups. If I click on that, now it brings me to the Young Composers Club group. All right. Um, in this group, I can see the members. If I click Members, okay, and let's say I'm listening to uh, this student's music right here, Incha's music, and it's just really great. I think she's doing a great job. I can click Follow, and now um, I can get updates about what Incha is doing. Pretty cool, right? Um, so uh, I can also see things that Incha has favorited, groups that she's a part of, any activity that she's been doing, um, any people that she's following, or any people who are following her. And this shows that Honora is following her. But since I am not Honora, I'm going to stop following her. All right, so I'm going to go back now. I'm going to go back to the groups here. Okay, Composers Club. And if I click Scores, this is where it's really important because um, here are all the scores that I have shared with this user. So it says rhenry526, that's my that's my um, my uh, name. So all the scores, House Mouse Chase, Super Guinea Pig, uh, my, hashtag my melody, the exciting arrival, all those things are things that I've skipped. Uh, shared with them. But if it has a puzzle piece, what that puzzle piece means is that um, it's called a template, which means anybody can get this and open it, but when they open it, um, it doesn't change the original file. When it opens, it actually saves to your account and it becomes your own file. So if I were to open this as Honora, House Mouse Chase, cool, uh, and I do some work in there and I go and click Save, Let's just say I do this. Okay. I go and click save. Now it says it saves house mouse chase um, onto my home screen, which I'll just show you in just a second. Okay. Let's say I do some work here and I really am proud of it. I can click connect. It says this score is not currently shared. I click change. I can change it. I can either share it with all of the Clow site people. That's everybody at Clow who has NoteFlight. That would be all fifth grade. Don't want to do that necessarily, okay? Unless I'm like really proud of it. Um, I probably want to share it with a group. So I click groups and I'll type in young composers right there. 
If you click that, um, and I don't want them to be, uh, I can want them to be able to comment. So I'll change it to comment. If I was doing a project with a friend, I could tell them to edit it. Okay, but that would really, you only want to do that with a friend, not necessarily just somebody who uh, is on the site. Okay, so I probably would either hit comment or view. Okay, um, and then you click save. All right. Now, if it was uh, an individual person, let's say I want to do a project with a friend, I can type in that pro person's name, um, like Insha Butail, right there. Click there, and I can change it to be that person can edit the score. Now I'm in a relationship with that person through NoteFlight, where we both have access to the score, and we both can edit it and both can save it, which is kind of cool because you can do recording projects, okay? But for this purpose, I'm just going to do share it with the group and I'll click save, okay? But I'm actually not going to do that right now because this is not my account, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Let's go back. So now that I've done that, when I go to my home screen as uh, this user, you'll see house mouse chase is now saved there. So to get to that score, I don't have to go under groups anymore, like I did earlier. When I sign in next time, it'll be right there without the puzzle piece because it's saved as its own thing here. Okay, so that's that. Um, another couple of quick things you might want to see when I'm here. Um, there's a little thing called forums in the group. Um, there's one called Note Flight. How do I? If you have a question like. How do I add uh, or change the time signature? You can post that right there. And then hopefully somebody will get back to you soon. All right? I delete that because I don't actually want to keep that there. Um, all right. I think that's about all the information you need right now. Um, you could have a lot of fun and share scores and look at other people's scores and just enjoy your time. All right. See you later.